Hey guys, it's Minister Q, and I uh, just wanted to show my face for a brief moment and talk to you guys about something very brief that the Lord spoke to me on, and this was about a week and a half ago, and it wasn't a dream, it wasn't a vision. I was actually somewhere in my city and walking like out of a store um, was getting in or out of my car. I don't remember that part. But the most important part that I do want to say is this. Um, God speaks to me, and everyone knows that God does. Um, he spoke to me like like how he does when he speaks very short and powerful, then he doesn't say nothing else, and then he just lets the rest of it play out in my life. Whether it be corporate dream for other people or whether if it be personal for myself um the lord spoke something to me very 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 brief um and i want to give a um a testimony of another dream i had a dream about someone trying to talk to me it was like an older guy he was like in his 50s like 55 i could sense all this in my dream it actually manifested like oh gosh a few days later or something like that um, someone was actually trying to talk to me inside the store. He was a very attractive looking man and everything like that. Um, you know, my type and everything. Um, but I got a word from God and it was one word and it was called, it said self-control. And that's what I got before that. So when I was going out from this other place, from what I'm getting ready to tell you that's recent, I got the words, don't get left behind. don't get left behind and that was it so i know that you know when god speaks very short i know that he speaks very powerful and short you know especially something like that i know that something is about to go down and you know my duty our duty what your duty should be as men and women of god is to you know make sure that you are serving god and that you know who god is so that nothing can take you away or nothing can detour you, you know, if you got caught, captured, interrogated, whatever the case is. We're talking about some real serious stuff here. And, you know, I, I'm trying to get to that point. I'm not trying to pity paddle, play no games with you. Many people out here got their own agenda. Some people playing games. Some people ain't trying to get to know the Lord. Some people think, you know, judgment ain't never happened. Some people think there'll be a rapture now. Have whatever. But I want to tell you that what God told me, he said it very short and I saw it. Saw the words go straight before me. I was like in the parking lot and I saw a little billboard and I saw it said, don't get left behind. And um, that lets me know that some things are about to go down. And I want to give this one last nugget. I had, um, I was sleeping in my mom's house about three to five years ago on our couch. God came in. I was like asleep and in between state. I felt like I was asleep, but then I felt awake. And God said, those who have the mark are not mine. I know I've drugged that statement out. I know I've said it a lot. But I feel something's telling me that it goes straight in with don't get left behind. Meaning, what is God saying with that? That means it's going to be a lot of stuff going on in between. A lot of stuff going on in between. A lot of pressures, you're going to be tested. And guess what? You're not supposed to take the mark because out of any circumstances, you are not to compromise. You are not to compromise because your kids are hungry. It's going to be a lot of stuff going on. What does the Bible say? Brother against uh, brother, like uh, daughter against mother, um, child against their, their parent. You know, you are not to follow the crowd. You are not to go with life as normal, as usual. As the time goes and as things go, you make your decisions accordingly to what God is telling you to do. So I say the same thing that God is relaying to me. I know it means something corporate. And, you know, God is saying, don't get left behind.